I have excellent news. If you clicked on this video, that means you're trans. How's it going guys, guys, and pals? I'm Alice in Wonderland, your favorite Kiwi trans girl, and today I'm going to turn you into a girl. So get excited. What if you're a cis guy and accidentally clicked on this video by mistake? Well, too bad. You're a girl now. Unluckily for you, forced feminization is a well-known interest of mine. Anyway, stay tuned as over the next 10 minutes, I take you through the step-by-step -step process of becoming a girl. This is going to be a transformative video for you. <laughs> so, let's start with the theorem. You're here, or here, and you want to get here, but there's a big scary pit of despair in the way. What are the steps you need in order to safely cross this chasm? Here's where my expertise comes in. My name is Alice, and I've been trans since 2020. As you can see, I'm doing pretty well. There's one thing I've learned over the last four years is that there are two distinct ways to become a girl, though not everyone can really master the first. Speaking of, here's the short, cheaty way to get there. First, go somewhere dark and cold. Then draw a circle on the ground, like this. Then you'll want some candles. Place five of them evenly around the circle and draw lines to connect them. The next part is easy, you just need to sit down in the center of the circle with your legs crossed. Close your eyes, and pray to the demons of Selza. <laughs> Congratulations, you're now a girl. Unfortunately, that doesn't work for everyone. In fact, that doesn't really work for anyone. And God forbid you accidentally call upon the demons of Sangzar instead. The honest truth is that you may just have to do this the slow and boring way. But, not to worry. Sometimes it's not about the destination or some shit they say in Disney movies. The journey is actually quite enjoyable, if at times frustrating. And I am something of an expert on these roads, so let me give you some brief directions. See, look, I've, I've even got a map. So, let's go back to the start. You clicked on this video because you've discovered something about yourself. You're trans, and that's f***ing awesome. It's really okay, it's awesome and it's really exciting. What are the first things you need to do? In my experience, I'm always going to say the first thing you need to do is find yourself a safe place. Hopefully you're lucky enough to already be living in one, but if you're not, perhaps it's time to reassess your living arrangements and go live with the strange but very accepting goblin down the road. This might take some time for you, and that's okay. Be patient and you'll get there, I promise. Once you're in a safe space, it's time to experiment. Not like these guys, that's disgusting. Please keep in mind, of course, that you can really start any of the phases I'm about to talk about at any time. This is just my advice. The purpose of phase two is to solidify and confirm that you really are trans. This is phase two. Figure out what kind of girl you want to be. Try on skirts, dresses, skinny jeans, feminine clothing, makeup, etc., etc. Find out what feels right to you. For me, Guns felt right. And destruction. I am a chaos trans. Once you figure out who you are, it's time for phase three. Transitioning. Socially and medically. You don't have to do them in order. In fact, you don't even have to do them at the same time. Do them at whatever pace feels right and safe for you. Just do what you can depending on what's possible where you live. The most important thing is to try not to rush yourself. There is no deadline. I didn't realize I was trans till I was 20 and I'm doing just fine. And in fact, I know a lot of trans people who realize in their 40s and are really happy. Now, transitioning socially can be scary. It's such a complex topic and having to broach such personal information to the people around you in order to live as yourself can be very taxing. I'll make a more in-depth video on how to come out at some point, but for now I'm going to impart the three pieces of advice that I think are the most important. Number one, try and do it in person. This isn't always possible and if you're around less supportive people it can even be dangerous, in which case you might need to find another way. But if the people around you truly love you, you will regret not doing it in person. Don't come out over text if you can avoid it. Four years ago, sitting down with my best friend, and then later sitting down with my parents and coming out to them, those are some of the most important and priceless and cherished memories of my entire life. They were f 
fucking terrifying, but I am so proud that I was able to tell them in person, face to face. My second piece of advice, try not to make a huge deal out of it. People are going to look for any opportunity they can to call a trans person attention seeking. So don't give them that opportunity. Don't give them the satisfaction. Treat it as if it's a fact of life. Don't make it seem like you want attention over it. It's not a big deal, you just want to be a girl. And lastly, be prepared for anything. It's unpredictable. Sometimes the people you thought would be the most supportive are really not. And vice versa. You just can't tell, so be prepared for whatever outcome. And then, non-transitioning medically, something that a lot of us are really excited about and is generally the focus of the transition. This is going to take some long processes and probably quite a lot of therapy. Doctors rightly want to make sure that you're sure. The first step to medical transition is generally talking to a doctor and an endocrinologist and getting on hormone therapy. Later, you may choose to get affirming surgery. The process is totally different in every country, so really the only advice I can give you here is that most places, Trans healthcare is accessible through sexual health services. Talk to your doctor for a referral or talk to the sexual health services directly and they should hopefully put you in touch with an endocrinologist. Then, the terrifying final part of social transitioning, voice training. And frankly speaking, I'm not an expert here, and so I've invited my friend Lucy, who's done a lot of voice training videos over on her YouTube channel up here, and she's gonna give you a couple of starting tips. Between you and me, the real reason I invited her onto my channel is because she says she's Australian, but I'm smart and I know that Australia is not real. Look, my map even says so. Hi. <laughs> Um, I'm Fairy Princess Lucy. I make trans voice content, which is why I was asked to talk about trans voice in the context of transition. There's misconceptions of trans voice and I'm going to go over some of them just for you. So the biggest misconception is A, whether hormones affect your voice or not. They don't. But I have some good news. You can just change your voice. You don't have to worry about pitch that much. <laughs> Um, this is one that is a lot more well known nowadays, but it used to just be completely unheard of. So, with pitch, it can only do you so much. You can lower your voice and still sound particularly femme, because the other techniques are coming in clutch. Right? Like, um, pitch going down or up doesn't really affect how your voice is gendered. Look up different techniques like larynx, resonance, all these fancy words. Watch the video, learn the technique, and just repeat the technique over and over and over in short little sessions throughout your day. If you stare at a wall and practice heat from fire, fire from heat for two hours straight, you're not gonna get better. <laughs> you're gonna have to spend like one minute or two minutes doing a larynx exercise or a resonance exercise, and then wait a couple of hours and do another two minutes of practice. <laughs> We're building habit and it's gonna be way more practical if you do it this way. Guaranteed, 100%. All right, my friends, that's a little introduction to some things you want to know about trans voice. If you want more detailed explanations, I have more videos right there. At um, backseat of someone snuck on the set and they're not looking particularly virtual or Australian. What do I do? I'll call security. Okay. Hmm. Um, how did you get here? You're from Australia, right? Um, yeah, of course. I mean, there's a red rooster Suspicious. right there. Where else would I be? <laughs> I fucking knew it! And now, you've gone all the way through to the end of phase three. You have socially, medically, and vocally transitioned. For all intents and purposes, you are now a girl. Hooray! And now it's time for the most important phase of them all. Phase four. Rise, stand tall, proud, beautiful, yourself. Travel across the world, see amazing sights. Join me, along with millions of others at the foothills of capitalism, black sun burning in our eyes. Devastation on the horizon, revolution in the air. Join me 
as we shepherd the dawn of a new era of civilization. It is your destiny! We must rise and overcome, starting with New Jersey, and then eventually Ohio, and the rest of America. And then the world is our oyster, and it's f***ing good that I'm weird and like eating oysters. Join my queer army and subscribe. And we will make the world that we want to live in. To you, in a few years. Congratulations. You went through a long process. But you and I both know that you were already a girl the moment you clicked on this video. Thanks for watching. Make sure to check out Lucy's channel. Link in the description.